About 70 people are reported dead following a military airstrike targeting bandits on Sunday in Zamfara State. According to Nigerian media reports, the military was responding to a bandit attack in Malele, Malele, Ruan, Tofa, and Yan Aweke communities. Eyewitnesses say those who died include militants and civilians. A dozen people were injured in the attack and are receiving treatment at a local hospital. Now, we are now joined by Ajek Mangud in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. Ajek, welcome to the program. What is the latest from Zamfara State from Sunday's military airstrike? Well, Richard, like you rightly said, uh, local reports are saying that about uh, 64 people uh, most of them suspected uh, terrorists uh, were killed in Zamfara State while fleeing uh, mil military bombardments of the area because the military has been carrying out operations uh, to clear out uh, armed groups who have been operating in the northwestern part of the country, Zamfara State included. Uh, re uh, local reports say that uh, civilians, including women and children, were caught in the crossfire. Uh, during this uh, airstrike by the military. Uh, they've also said that uh, because of the airstrikes, uh, some of the attacks by the uh, suspected terrorists were being repelled. Uh, but the military has reacted to this and said that reports of it killing uh, civilians is actually untrue and that uh, the reports are intended to take away from the successes that it has recorded in uh, trying to clear out uh, armed groups who operate in uh, in the northwestern part of the country. Ajek, there are some developments in other parts of Nigeria, including Bauchi State in Kaduna. Can you tell us more about that? Well, Richard, the authorities in Kaduna State are yet to comment on the latest uh, attack because Kaduna is one of the states also that has uh, been experiencing or dealing uh, with activities of armed groups. But uh, local reports are saying that about 37 people uh, were killed when uh, armed groups uh, invaded villages in Kara local government area uh, of the state uh, and killed people. They burnt down houses uh, and uh, hundreds of houses or over 100 houses uh, and also uh, vehicles and of course uh, motorcycles and the people in the community had to uh, flee for their lives of course. Uh, in the last uh, few months the military has been carrying out uh, operations uh, in the northwestern part of the country to clear out some of these uh, uh, terrorists locally known as bandits who are operating in the north, uh, northwest and of course uh, northeastern region of the country and uh, in Bauchi State, for example, uh, the military has been uh, making successes and in one of its operations, it was able to uh, neutralize about uh, 12 militants uh, during a gun battle. Uh, and of course, the military has said that uh, it's recovered some uh, operational motorcycles uh, from those uh, terrorists and uh, other uh, equipment that they've been using to carry out attacks, killing people and kidnapping them for ransom, uh, including children. And it has said that it is intensifying efforts uh, to be able to get those who, who were fleeing from uh, some of its clearance operations that it has been carrying out both in the northeast and, of course, in the northwest.